for the materials and labor they need to make their homes more energy efficient. And a smart electricity grid that saves you money and moves our economy forward. We talked about additional ways to lift small businesses, which are both the great generator of jobs and the truest reflection of our values. We talked about additional investments in America's roads and bridges and railways and ports. Nobody's been a bigger champion of this than Governor Rendell, rebuilding the critical infrastructure of our economy. So on Tuesday, I'm going to speak in greater detail about the ideas I'm, I'll be sending to Congress to help jumpstart private sector hiring and get Americans back to work. But here's the thing, Allentown. We, we've got to do more than manage our way through this crisis. Because long before the recession hit, many of our communities, including communities right here in Pennsylvania, were struggling even when the economy was doing relatively well. Plants were closing, jobs were leaving, especially in manufacturing. For too many families and communities, the recession wasn't a new challenge, it's a permanent one. It's been going on for a decade or more. So in addition to dealing with the immediate crisis that we face today, we've got to face up to the challenges necessary to strengthen our economy for the long term. That's why I've taken on our broken health insurance system so that families and businesses don't have to pump and don't have to That's why my Secretary of Education, Artie Duncan, is taking on our education system so that our kids can compete in the 21st century economy. And that's why we are working to upgrade America's most underappreciated asset, community colleges, just like this.